We're back with more tips and tricks to help you work more effectively in Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will focus on how to organize your files tab to access shared documents quickly, how to access the built-in version control feature, the contact information card so you can communicate with others quickly and easily, creating a poll in Teams to gather insight and opinions from others, and before we conclude our video, I'm gonna share a few more of my favorite time-saving shortcuts. Let's get started. We all know the best way to organize and share documents within the Files tab of your Teams workspace is to use folders. Microsoft Teams has a couple additional features to help you further organize documents and access them quickly. You can create a quick pathway to important documents in one of two ways. The first way is to select the ellipsis beside a file or folder and choose Pin to Top. This will secure the item to the top of the Files tab. You no longer have to scroll through an endless list of files to get to what you need when you need it. If you've pinned a folder, a number is going to appear on that folder indicating how many files are found within it. Now this feature will only pin the folder to the top of your Files tab. This action does not impact the Files tab of others you share this Teams workspace with. When you no longer require an item to be pinned, you can select the ellipsis and unpin it. Secondly, if you'd like a specific work file to be easily accessible to all members of the team, you can select the ellipsis and choose Make This a Tab. A new tab will be created in the channel, which means you and all other members of the team can access this file directly without having to open the Files tab. Now the file will still be housed in the Files tab and can still be accessed from there as well. As a reminder, each channel can have a total of 16 tabs, including the default tabs. If you've completed the document or you no longer require your team to have quick and easy access to it, you can select the drop down and choose Remove. The item will still be available in the Files tab. Since Teams is a collaboration application, all members of the team will have access to the files shared through the Teams workspace. As documents are opened, updated, saved, and closed, a new version is going to be created in the background to help you manage the document. To access this version history, select the ellipsis and choose Open in SharePoint. Locate the document here and choose the ellipsis beside it. Select Version History. Now you can view all previous versions of the document, including the time and date as well as team member who modified that document. Each version is given its own unique version number which will never be altered or changed. You can use the drop down here to view a previous version or delete a previous version. If needed, you can also restore a previous version to make it the most current version of a document. As you can see, the version that you're restoring from will maintain its version number and a duplicate will be created and inserted into the list as the most current version and it will be assigned its own unique version number. This is going to allow you and your team to maintain the complete life cycle of a document. Tip number three is all about communication. If you need to reach out to a teammate or colleague quickly, you can access all of their contact options directly from their information card. Anytime you see a profile icon, you can hover your mouse over it to access the contact's information, as well as to begin communicating. To send a quick chat without leaving your current location in Teams, Type your message in this field here and choose the paper airplane to send your message. You can also select the chat icon to open your chat with this user. Select the envelope icon to open a new email using your default mail service. 
The user's email address will be populated in the recipient field, allowing you to email them directly from the Teams environment. The first time you select that envelope, you will have to set up and sign in using your Microsoft credentials. You can use this icon to view this user on the org chart of your organization. And lastly, you can use these icons to begin a video or an audio call. Our next tip is related to communication, but focuses on gathering inputs and opinions. You can leverage the power of polling in your team's channels, chats, or meetings. With Microsoft Forms integration, you can easily create a survey or poll. From a channel or chat, select the ellipsis under the text box and look for Forms. You'll have to install the app if you haven't done so already. Next, add your questions and answer options. By default, the participants can only select one option, but you can allow them to select more than one option by using this toggle, which allows multiple answers. The replies will be shared automatically. Now this means all participants can see your poll results as they come in. To disable this option, uncheck this box. To retrieve the results, you'll sign into Microsoft Forms to gather those results and socialize them to the team. By default, the participant's name will show with their reply. You can check this box to make replies anonymous. Choose Save when you're happy with your poll. You'll then be presented with a preview, and you can edit if necessary, or you can send it into the post tab or chat. As a meeting host, you can pull your participants prior to the meeting beginning or during a meeting if needed. If you'd like to pull them before the meeting, single click the meeting placeholder and then choose chat with participants. Use the ellipsis from here to access forms. While in a call or in a meeting, you can leverage the form application by navigating to the conversation pane and choosing the ellipsis. Locate the Forms app to begin creating your poll. Lastly, as promised, I want to share some more of my favorite shortcuts with you, and I'm going to focus on three shortcuts that have to do with files and communication. In the command bar, type the forward slash and write the word files. Hit enter. This is going to bring up a list of all of the documents that you've worked on most recently, which will make it easy to jump back into your important work items. You can also find items easily by selecting forward slash find and typing a channel name. Hit tab when you've located it and type in some keywords. Teams will search that specific channel for possible results. And finally, you can take yourself off of mute by using your space bar in a meeting or audio call. This is going to save you some clicks and allow you to mute and unmute yourself with ease. As Microsoft continues to provide you with new and innovative Workday solutions, we will continue to highlight them for you, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.